what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be taking apart this iDrive controller from this um, F10 um, GT. This is the um, 2011 um, 535 GT um, BMW. So the first thing I did was I removed the covering the insole for the um, cup holder. Now in here you have a, T, a T20 screw right there and then the next thing you do is remove this right here you have two T10 ten, ten, ten screw right here also so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the, the T20 um, torx drive and I'm gonna remove these two screws these three screws one over here and, and two right here yeah so now that I've removed the um the, 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 the three dark screws um, I'm just gonna use my um prior tool right here and I'm gonna just put it in here and, and, and lift this thing a little Yeah, so um, right now I'm able to lift. I'm able to lift this from this end, but then it still have a tightness here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lift here. I'm gonna lift here. So now that I lift here, I get more space. So when I lift, I'm gonna lift it and pull it back a little. I'm gonna lift it and then pull it back. There are two clips in the side, one over here, one over here. I don't know if you can see, but that's one of the clips right there. And then the other one is right here. So I, once I pop that clip, once I pop the clip on, the, on, the, on both sides, then it's gonna be up like this. Then I'm just gonna come under here and disconnect the wires. I already disconnect the connector for the the eye drive so I'm gonna disconnect the connector for these two um this two connector right here and then I'm gonna lift this thing off So this is the device now. Nothing is working on it. Um, I think some kind of liquid was thrown inside of it or something. I'm not even sure. But um, I'm going to try to take it apart and see if it can be cleaned or if we're just going to have to change it fully. I'm going to look and see how bad it's damaged. And then I'll see you. What's the possibility if we're just gonna have to buy one? Yeah, so um, now that I have the circuit board out, 
um, I'm inspecting to see if there's any burnt area on it. Um, currently, I'm not seeing where it's been burnt or anything. All I'm seeing is corrosion. You can see where the liquid um, has been and been um, caused corrosion on the, on the board and also on the, 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 the pins for the microchip. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be cleaning this thing. Um, I'm going to get a small brush and clean the pins off and all the areas that I see the corrosion. And then I'm going to use a, um, a blade, like a razor blade, and I'm going to clean between the pins to make sure that they are separated and they're not touching each other. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put fill it up back and try it and see if it works. Hopefully it does. I'm not sure, but... Um, I'm just gonna continue and then see what happened next. So now I hope the um, I reconnect the controller and um, I'm getting some movements. I'm getting it to I'm getting it to turn now, but um, the, the 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 select button is not working. Um, the option button, these buttons are not working. So I'm gonna try again and see if I can get um Yeah so now all the buttons are working. I think the card did take some time to recognize that the controller is now um connected. So um I did start the car without the controller in it, so I think that was the problem. So um the other buttons are actually working now and that's a good thing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reinstall it controller is not working that is like a 500 saved okay you would have to buy one for like 300 and change and then you would have to maybe program it or pay to install it or whatever it is so just this simple repair that i did and cleaned up i don't know if all of them is like this if maybe yours is not working maybe it is definitely damage has not something is wrong with it but this one even though um, liquid was spilled in it, I'm not even sure what kind of liquid it was, but I managed to get it to work. It I just clean it up. Now all the button works. This is the CD player. Bring it to CD. No external device. Telephone. Put it right to phone. Now the radio right to the radio navigation straight to navigation and this is the back button take it back back again I have the button for the options none of those was working before none not even one of them were I know they're all working so it, it, it's worth trying. If it's not working, it's worth trying to get it cleaned up before you go and spend five, six hundred dollars just to get one of these things while you can just easily try to get it fixed. You don't have nothing to lose. You're already gonna change it anyway. So if it even breaks, that's, then it, it's already broken. So um, you just have to just try and see if you can get it cleaned up. I just have faith in it and it works and that's it.